see who comes in. I'll see if Jason comes in first. I am uh, walking to the park. I think we can catch the tail end of the sunset. I think the sun's just about down. Uh, but I thought we could just walk. I've been doing 10,000 steps a day. I just started it about 10 days ago. I'm just trying to get healthier. And uh, I figure I'll bring you guys all along. Walk. It takes me about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We'll see who shows up. They come hang out. Here, I'll flip it around so we can. I don't know. I wish there's a way I could use the stabilization while live streaming. It would make it a lot nicer. Like if I stand still, it looks good. Picture quality. I mean, it looks good on my phone. I don't. I don't think it streams at 1080p. I need to figure out how to do that. Hey, Jeffrey. How are you? You're first today. You made it first. Uh. I just, I've been doing my 10,000 steps a day thing and I thought I should start taking some people along for the ride. I need to figure out how to do, uh, hey Kayla, I need to figure out how to do the Streamlabs and based on the Streamlabs, like I want to broadcast in 1080p just so it looks better. Hey Kyle, I'm trying to make sure I'm not running into uh, any cars, got lots of people walking by. We're going to the park, get some steps in. Um, yeah, I got to figure this out. There's a lot of things with the live stream I want to work on because I really do enjoy the live streaming. To me, the live streaming is just a way for me just to hang out, have a little bit of fun with you guys, make some quick content. I just wish there's a way I could do it where the picture quality was a little bit better so it looks better afterwards. Hey, Pistol Pete. How are you? Oh, yeah, we just missed the sunset by a few minutes. It should be at least 780, so it doesn't look too bad. But when I watch it back, I'm playing. Maybe it's live. It looks good. Oh, sweet, sweet. Which one did you buy for me? I forget. I really enjoyed the comic show. Actually, that was my favorite whatnot show I've done. Uh, just I love comic books. I just want to talk about comic books, buy comic books. Uh, my last video, someone's like, "Oh, you look like a uh, more of a gambling addict than a comic." I buy as many comic books as I can buy, and then I find ways to pay for them because that's just the way my brain works. I love them. Love the artwork. I love the stories. I love everything about them. I got a little bit of the sunset going down. That was uh, Pistol P, what, uh, what comic did I sell you? Because your name's different than the name that I would have sold to. So I want to I wanna jog my brain a little bit. Uh, the light just popped on. Some attachments so I can figure out how to attach the phone to my body. So I can actually... Like, I'm just holding it right now, but I want to try to do some kind of... I got to figure out a way to get, like, augmented glasses attached to my body so that I can, uh, like, just walk and talk but still see what you guys are saying. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love a sunset on New York City. It is beautiful. There's so many, like... Here, let's get closer to the water. We actually go to the pier so I can show you the buildings. It just it blows my mind. Okay, so I grew up. We had the Empire State Building. That thing was tall, and then... You had the Chrysler building hiding over there somewhere. But now there's like eight, ten different buildings taller than the Chrysler building. And then I think that one right there is as tall as the Empire State Building. It's like freaking, they built the Avenger Towers. And that's only a few years old. And there's a whole, oh, you can't see. There's a bunch of things in here. But there's all these finger buildings. They're really small apartment buildings. They're skinny buildings, but tall as heck. It's so weird to me. The skyline it changes but yeah New York skyline is gorgeous especially during you have a Manhattan hinge when the sun goes down right between the buildings it's such a cool night that's in oh sweet 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 the uh those Charlton comic books those were amazing I got them from a channel viewer I don't know, a couple years ago, he had a whole collection of like a hundred Charlton comic books. And they're all, you know, they weren't, but they're all nice, high grade. I'm happy it arrived safely. You got some amazing stuff. Oh yeah, okay. I know exactly who you are. You're in my shows all the time. Wait, I'm trying to read Kyle. Right, it says, I'm a panel panelist on live stream shows out of the UK, New York. Texas, Canada, Australia on a weekly basis on top of anything I do. My own channel, though, now I'm starting to plat 
platform share those yeah i want to live stream more so i gotta figure out a way to do it just i want a more like the after videos they'll always look kind of blurry to me i don't like it. i want a much nicer video so that the videos themselves can be something people can watch over um all right jeffrey it'll be awesome to see you you again come visit the shop it's awesome yeah i enjoy i know the last few shows i feel like it's been pops but the comic show i had a blast because people were actually asking for stuff so i might have to start switching over and do a lot more comic shows than the pop shows because i i don't know i don't know if the market's just dead or people are waiting what happens is right now the pops i sell are the the big grails that's what everyone wants people want the rare stuff but the common stuff doesn't sell anymore so it's so hard to get that uh i'm not actively collecting pops like uh I keep thinking I want to sell them off, but then I look at them and I absolutely love them. Yeah, the comic show was a ton of fun. People were asking for stuff. I was selling stuff. And it was, I didn't feel like I was the uh, the wharf where the fair. Yeah, he, he also got some. I might have just today. I was, it took me a few days on a couple of them because I was kind of overwhelmed with things I needed to get done. But I caught up. I'm going to start sorting comic books. I actually have. I filmed one comic video overnight and I have about 30 more I need to film. And then I'm going to start sorting and I'm going to start trying to do comic shows once or twice a week, I think. Uh, I mean, I had 9,500 different pops. So that's probably about 80% of the ones they made. But I had room. You know, if I did a video in each video revenue so I could afford the rent on a really nice space, I would collect all of them. I would finish the collection. Uh, all right, I'm going to go to the end of that pier and we're going to just sit and talk. I just, I love this area. It's just really beautiful. Oh, and over here, there's an actual boardwalk. Not, wait, it's not here. Where does it start? Over here somewhere, it starts a boardwalk. I just love, there's just something about that that's very nostalgic to me that reminds me of going to the beach as a kid. Uh, but yeah, no, I, uh, I'm also been trying to promote my friend James because his artwork's amazing. More of oh, here we go. Oh, here. Wood boardwalks. <laughs> Something about that. Oh, the same building is regular iPhone settings. I could zoom in. Uh, well, my collection was worth three thirty thousand. Thousand. ones i was missing were probably really expensive ones for the most part uh i probably get a full set of pops out there maybe a little bit more because hit like crazy 10 to 100 thousand dollar prices yeah this is right by the water so if people want to know my literally is a block from the from here subway ride is the same it's like four minutes it's a four minute subway ride uh, i gotta sit for a second it's hard to walk and talk <laughs> i could just uh i guess i'm sitting right here on this bench okay let's see if i can this uh so what do you guys want to talk about I just, I gotta, I'm doing my 10,000 steps and, uh, I'm sitting there. <laughs> Let me just find, uh, walk around in circles or something. You know what? Let's go to the other park and just walk in circles. Or, or we could just walk towards the bridge because, uh, Domino Park's pretty gorgeous. Big fan of Domino Park as well. I'm gonna do that. We'll just enjoy the ocean a little bit. It's not really the ocean. It's the river. It's the river. It becomes the ocean when there's a hurricane or something that pushes the water up the river. Then it becomes the ocean. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, if I had it on the regular phone, I could stabilize it. When I'm walking without the phone settings, it's, like, shaky. I need to figure out how to do the stream yards because if I can do that, then I can make it not be blurry. Uh, I played Pokemon Go a ton when it first I really enjoyed it. You get to the point where you have to start spending money just to keep going. And I was just like, I don't want to just keep feeding 
to my son. I don't know. That happened to my son. Oh, when we got the phones in November, he played it hardcore for a few weeks and then he ran out of space. He couldn't play anymore. And it's just like, we either start spending 10 dollars there just to keep going or we had to quit. He decided just to quit. He didn't want to spend his he loves Pokemon though. Uh, the cool kid, he plays every Pokemon get on the Switch. I think he has seven or eight of them that he's beaten. Uh, Alright, take you. I hear the seagulls. Honestly, I feel kind of like I'm at the beach when I'm over the pier though. We got the wooden pier. We got the, the echo when you walk on it. I hear the seagulls. I have the water crashing. It's gorgeous over here. Uh, woo, we have 18 people in the room. Uh, hey, Tina, how are you? Uh, Tina, what do you want? Ask me a question. What do you want me to talk about? I can chat about anything you want. Life, collecting, anything, really. All right, I'm going to start walking somewhere. I got a AR3. We, yeah, we're live. I'm here right now out of sight. Dogs have hard to walk when the dogs are tripping. Lots of dogs. But we are live right now. I can chat about anything you want. Tro the beautiful scene. Uh, it's hard to live stream. I'm just live streaming directly on the YouTube app. I need to figure out the stream lab. I think when you do that, you can use your phone as the regular phone so I can stabilize it. 1080p. I can stream. I should be able to stream in the highest quality. Power. I should be able to stream in 4K, honestly. I think I have 120, 110 uh, gigabyte, megabyte upload, whatever that is. I know it's like 10 times faster than my uh, at home internet or the internet I have at work. Regular landlines suck compared to 5G. 5G just seems so freaking fast. To so we're going over this way. This way is, uh, so the boardwalk goes into this building right here. And you got this, you got people, it's like a gym. Whoever lives in this building gets to use the gym. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many things I love collecting that I would like to of. I love 3A action figures and Ashley Wood action figures. It's hard to talk here because it's, what a really like the, the Isabel Pasha dolls and the, the really cool action figures. I love those things. I have probably 10 or 12 in my collection, but uh, I would like to. So the thing is, a lot of my collecting, I like to collect in a way that kind of pays for itself it's because collecting is expensive. You can spend a lot of money and not collect a lot. So I always try to find ways that kind of pay for itself. And so uh, my oldest collection, I'll get to in a second. Um, and I have a story for that. Actually, good question. Good question. I got oldest collection story I will tell. Uh, but so, yeah, I, uh, I like, so with three A figures, I tried to do a video years ago and it didn't really get many views. And I just don't think, here, let me flip this. I don't think there's a lot of interest in the three A stuff. So I wish, uh, I wish there's a way I could kind of get that to pay for itself. I did get a uh, free figure from them once I, I did a video on the little like hazmat trooper guy which was amazing oh this is my wife's favorite new place trader joe's just came in in the last six months and uh it's amazing you guys want to walk through trader joe's <laughs> i've been making fun uh my son and i we've doing a lot of walks but he likes to walk through actual places when we're trying to get our ten thousand steps so i was imagining that i would do a a youtube channel called the walking bread that just had walking videos where I walk through Trader Joe's. <laughs> I'll walk by. I'll decide. I don't know. I can't really talk in Trader Joe's. But it's fun to test kind of where the phone works. I've actually haven't been into this Trader Joe's yet. Oh, and I'm hungry. That's probably a bad idea. Bad idea to go into Trader Joe's. Yeah, maybe I should. Well, <laughs> if I go in there, I want to eat everything. Yeah, Trader Joe's, the thing with Trader Joe's is the food tastes just fresh and delicious. I feel like I go into like Whole Foods and I feel like the food just doesn't taste as fresh and delicious. Yeah, yeah no, I, 
I think I might just hang out for a couple hours. Walk. All right. So let's do uh, my earliest collecting story. Okay. Let's see. When I was a really little kid. Oh, the three zero really large size transformers are amazing. Hey, Rambo. I'm happy you love my channel. I want to try to do more content. I'm thinking I'm going to experiment because I need to figure out. Oh, hey, Fernie. I need to figure out what works. I know what does work, but what works is expensive. Big mega halls where I spend 10 grand and I buy a billion pops. Those work. People like those videos. The only problem is that pops have not been selling very well for me lately. So I can't do those videos because A, I can't afford to spend 10 grand and not have a way to pay for it. I'm not rich. And uh, oh, what was the advice that it gave you? I forgot. I, I try to give good advice to everyone if I can, but I always forget. Um, but so, yeah, I can't do... Now, I can do the Unhaul series. I can continue that, which I'm thinking of doing. I actually just bought a really expensive comic book to kind of motivate me for that. I got it. Uh, I spent five grand on a comic. And it was uh, my number one grail I've wanted for decades. And uh, I saw that I could get it with pay. I bought it from Bryce Comics, actually, which is pretty awesome. I love Bryce Comics. Great YouTube channel. He has great prices, good customer service. And so I, um, I put it on PayPal credit six months. Very loud. I put it on PayPal credit six months. So I have six months to pay it without interest. So I'm going to unhaul to pay for it, basically. Let's see, one thing you said, you review a lot at once instead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when I do videos, I like to show a lot of stuff because to me, it's fun. Uh, I'm definitely going to see the Mario movie. I don't know if it's going to be good, but my son is super hyped up for it. And I Mario has been my thing since the 80s. I love Mario, so I definitely want to see it. Yeah, long reviews, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of like doing a 10 minute video on a single pop or a single item. It just doesn't fit how my brain thinks because I, I think in terms of a lot of things at once. And so my way of collecting is I'll buy 500 comics and make that into an hour video. To me, that's exciting because I'm showing you a lot of stuff. If you really, really, really need to concentrate on a single item a little bit longer, I'm sure there's other channels out there. Like if you want a review of a comic book, look it up on YouTube. People will review it for you if you need a five, 10 minute review or an hour review. If you want to see a lot of content all at once, that's my channel. That's what I like to do. I just like to just, uh, you know, like a thing I love to do is to open up a, like a toy catalog or like an old series catalog or a magazine and just flip through it and see lots of stuff at once. That's just how I love to input information into my brain. Um, uh, waiting on John Wick. Is there a new John Wick pop coming out? I know I try to put all my purchases onto my Amazon get like 50 to 100 bucks a month that I just spend for free on whatever I want. Whatever cool stuff I can get for free. Am I there? Am I here? I think I had hit a dead spot in my coverage. You mean like a pop-up book comic? I think I do. It's amazing. Toy collecting is a value. Your toys, I mean, there's two ways. You can open up all your toys and you get the value of actually enjoying which is a value though that or you know their value because a toy is always a toy hey will how are you i bought a whole bunch of comics from will at the queen's comic party two weekends he was selling comics more often and it was amazing stuff some golden age stuff and uh cool time well I, I can't uh uh well, let me flip this around so you guys can actually see. Like, uh, this is what I'm looking at. You're looking at my face. This is what I'm looking at. Beautiful view here. Okay, when you got time. I mean, the movie John Wick. I'm in the box. I got to go visit. Oh, you're in the Bronx. Cool. Wait a little bit because my store is a mess from the winter. In like a month, I'm going to have it all nice and cleaned up again. Oh, thanks, Will. Yeah, yeah. I also said you and Brian stopped by. I was exhausted. I think I was sleeping at the time. Uh, Rambo, that sounds fun. 
I'll have to check out your channel a little bit. Awesome, MegaCon. I would love to get to the point where my comic channel could afford to pay for conventions all over the place. The only problem is when I go to a convention, I buy too much. Like, I can't comic party. I end up in long boxes of comics. I didn't know how I'd get them home, but my friend Kyle helped me out. He helped me get them home, so without his help, I could have done it. <laughs> I kept the buy. Yeah, Mom, I've been taking uh, 10000 a day for the last 10 days now. I, I think it's been really good for me. I was having some diabetes, I think. I had a few blind spots up here in my eye. I think I told you that. So I'm just like, I'm, I gotta take my eyes. I'm enjoying the walking. It's actually getting easier. Oh, sweet. You're getting all the uh, people from the Marvel shows and uh, um, Moff Gideon. That's awesome. But yeah, I've been doing 10,000 steps. Uh, the cool kid's been doing probably about 5,000 steps a day. He doesn't seem to have the energy to do the full walk, but he's having a lot of fun really wanting to do the walks with me. So that's amazing. So I, uh, I love art vinyl toys. The, um, have just a show of art toys is one of the coolest conventions I do each year. Uh, my friend James is going to be selling at it this year. So I, I think it's going to be fun. If you guys have seen, I have videos on my channel. They're not that popular, but I love doing them. I would love to do them more often if they were more popular, but they're not. Sometimes you got to do the popular stuff to keep things rolling. But that's okay. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. Um, oh, okay. I don't know. Let me see how many steps I'm at at the moment. Yeah, let me... Uh, uh, no, I don't know how to show you, but yeah, my phone keeps track. So I just have it in my pocket. I can just walk. I can check it. And I kind of know how much I need to walk now to get the 10,000 steps. On my phone, there's an app that just keeps the, the... I think it does it by distance. Either If you go up and down a set of stairs 20 times, that's equivalent of 500 calories burnt or 10,000 steps, five miles. So I could either climb up or walk, and it's about the same amount. The walking seems easier, though. Uh, a Dark Phoenix looks. Funko Pop? Dark Phoenix is a cool character. I'm... So yeah, this is the old Domino Sugar Factory. So they have, these are all storage things. The factory is right here, Domino Sugar. Uh, my wife's... Uh, I think her great grandfather, grandfather, I don't know, a bunch of her family worked in that building back in the day. Um, but is it the Dark Phoenix Funko Pop or collect as much as I can? Um, okay, wait, I gotta go to my collecting story. So I think I was born a collector. I always had collecting in my jeans. I just love accumulating beautiful things that I absolutely love. And. The first thing I remember... Oh, Marvel Legends, awesome. The first thing I remember wanting to collect everything was in the late 70s, early 80s. Probably the early 80s. Because I remember at the house I moved in in 1980 was Snoopy wardrobes. I love Snoopy dolls. And you could buy these little outfits. So I really wanted to collect all the outfits. I remember going to Toys R Us with my mom. Picking out a few. Looking at the catalog after and wanting all of them. Uh, no, Daredevil's all sold out last year when the Spider-Man came out and uh i'm kind of low yeah i don't have one at the moment i need to buy more the only problem is like all the good stuff sells and then i get stuck with 90 percent is the cheap stuff oh that's funny yeah you could tell your phone well i didn't know is your phone is already tracking your steps if you have it on you if you not have if you don't have it on you, you can't but your phone will tell you i think it actually tells you where you are too people could use it Forensic. If you have your phone on you, you're in trouble if you're going to commit crimes. <laughs> um, so I remember the Snoopy. So that's our, so I was four years old with the Snoopy outfits. We got the subway here up on the Williamsburg Bridge. If I walk from my shop over the Williamsburg Bridge and back, that's my 10,000 steps. I haven't done that yet. That's on my to-do list. I want to do that walk one day. 
I started out, I just started out going and buying comic books. That was the easiest way to get started. <laughs> but yeah, coins. So that's, coins were, was my next thing. It was probably first grade. So we, how old are you in first grade? Five years old? I forget. But in math class, uh, one of the teachers brought a whole tin of coins. Oh, okay. So t but 285 steps is like walking to the bathroom and back a couple times. Around the block once. So he might have taken, the, like, that's weird. I don't know. 285 is not a ton of steps. Yeah, so I was, yeah, six years old, I guess. So the math teacher brought in a can of coins and they said, find the oldest coin. And we went through them and all the kids were like, oh, this is 1984, 1976. And then I found a wheat penny, which I had never seen before. And it was different from all the pennies that I had seen. And it was like, wow, money was different. I thought it was the coolest thing. But I got across the street here. Lots of traffic. Don't want to get run over. Actually, I'm going to go this way. Uh, so I, I wanted to keep the penny. And I asked the teacher if I could keep the penny. And uh, he said he couldn't because it's no fair to the other kids. But like a week later, he sent it to me in the mail. And to me, that was the such a cool thing. I absolutely. So I, at that point, I got obsessed with coins so i'd walk around the the house and i'd try to find all the coins i could find on the floor i ended up accumulating probably like two or three dollars worth of coins and then my brother got me in trouble or he got mad at me because he he turned me in for taking my parents money because i was taking coins off the floor so i had to give the whole cup of coins away including that penny that the teacher sent me so i was extremely upset about that i probably like threw a bit of a tantrum and so then uh what happened was then my dad let me start digging through his cans of coins or his jars so i started looking for old coins wheat pennies and all that so i got kind of obsessed with coins it's kind of awesome i enjoy that as a little kid i remember bringing my little coin collection with me when i was oh seven years old maybe i brought them on easter to uh, my uncle's house and uh, he thought it was cool that i was into coins so he let me dig through his coins and uh, he gave me a few, which I still own. And he, uh, oh, let me, flip. this is a fun looking little liquor store over here. That's a fun little thing in the neighborhood to check out. So, and that was cool. And then he told me uh, if I was still collecting coins, he gave me, a, I think a time frame, maybe two years, three years. He said, if I was still collecting, he would let me have a bunch more, which he did like two or three years later. He let me get a whole bunch of silver coins and a whole bunch of wheat pennies. He let me fill in my book. It was amazing. So I still have that collection. That's one of my favorite childhood collections I still have. That's one I just couldn't sell. I sold a lot of my stuff as a kid. And uh, let's see, I, my high school teacher put me on two rock, gave some cassettes. Uh, that's cool, very cool. Love that stuff. Um, so yeah, I sold, that's why, like I sold as a kid when I was a teenager, I sold all my video games, I sold my comic books, except for two. I had two, com I kept my G.I. Joe 21 and I, super loud. And I kept uh, one golden age comic my grandma gave me. I kind of wish I kept all the ones she gave me. Those are the ones I regretted selling. Um, but, I sold off almost all my comics. I sold off all my G.I. Joes, my Transformers, pretty much everything I had just to buy other stuff. You know, I regret some of that. Some of that stuff is okay. I didn't mind parting with it. It's good to learn to part with stuff sometimes. But the coin collection was why that was like, I think most of my coin, and I have another part of my coin collection that I had pneumonia once. It's really sick. And my dad ended up giving me like a little pile of coins, silver coins and whatnot. I have some coins that were my dad's mother's, so my grandma. Uh, I think I have one or two coins from my grandma. I have my mom's silver dollar that she won at a festival when she was a little girl. So my coin collection is all family related. That's one collection that has no monetary value to me. It has all 100% sentimental value. So I would never sell that coin collection. I think it's missing a couple pieces. Uh, uh, I've heard the name. I haven't been to it. It's definitely on my list of places to visit. I, uh, I think I did. I think my little brother, when I moved out of the house, 
he went up with a friend because it was still like I lived on the third floor. I still have my stuff there. I think my little brother took a couple of silver coins <laughs> just to use it as spending money. Eh, it, it, it is what it is. Siblings do that kind of stuff. Uh, but for the most part, the coin collection is one that I will give to my son. And if he, uh, he could do what he wants with it, but I love it. Uh, I love there. Uh, Mom, there's a whole bunch of really cool history shows of toys. There's the uh, Toys That Made Us which is a history of toys. So it shows like how Barbie got made, Lego got made, really awesome show. Next time you visit, we should watch all of it because I love it. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that do really cool videos. I should do some videos like that, but to me, that's a lot of work and research. <laughs> so I just want to have fun. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see the neighborhood. So, so we've been going for half an hour. I probably have to walk an hour and a half to get my steps in. Oh, that sounds a really cool silver coin. It's kind of like a mashup of two different, uh, you know, a comic related artist and a coin. I do like watching, there's a YouTuber that, I forget his name, but he melts down all scrap metal and he makes like different metal bars out of silver, or copper, or aluminum. I don't think he has any, he might have some silver and gold, but I'm not sure. But I enjoy just watching him melt down like an old generator and turn it into a bunch of bars and stuff. I think that's cool. I like metal in general. Metal just sounds, looks, everything about it is fun. Okay. Uh, uh, he might be from, I don't think he talks. So he might be from Australia. That wouldn't make sense. I don't think he talks at all. And he has a dog and he, he'll like drop the bar on a chunk of ice. Oh yeah, no mom, you were correct. I should share a lot of my knowledge. I do. And then speaking of that, I have my Ziggy collection. My Ziggy collection has been my main collection since, that's another collection I didn't sell. I have all my childhood Ziggy stuff. That's another collection I did not sell. And the first collection I really went crazy for when I found eBay. So I had, definitely have the world's largest Ziggy collection. Oh, uh, where, where are we at? Bedford? Okay, Bedford's the main street. I like going one block over. I go to Driggs or Roebling and I kind of loop around. This is how I get my steps. I kind of have to do that 10 times, I think, to get 10,000 steps. So that's what I've been doing a lot lately. Mm. Uh, it's hard to hold the phone and talk. That sounds amazing. Like I live in the city. I don't have any space to do that. But if I had like a little rural house, like a barn, I would totally melt things down. I would cast things. I think I would have a ton of fun with that. It's just, it's so fun. You take a little bit of energy, a little bit of fire, a little bit of heat. And you melt the metal and then you convert it into something really cool looking. I think that's amazing to me. Just the process of making anything is cool, actually. Really? I mean, Norman is really close to here. That's, uh, tell you the truth, the, the street my shop is on, White Avenue, it turns into Norman. So it's technically the same street. That's crazy. That's cool. How you doing, Eric? <laughs> nice to see you pop in here. Yeah, I mean, I can walk in that direction. Maybe I'll do a, a live stream. I can walk over by there one of these days. You just tell me where she used to live. And I can go visit, give her a tour. <laughs> All right, so this is Drake's. All right, I switch over at Drake's. Loop around one. Loop around number one. Ah. <sighs> I need a device that holds the camera in front of my face while I walk. <laughs> or I kind of want to find some kind of augmented reality glasses that lets me read chat while I'm walking. I kind of want to just do that. I would love to do a lot more live streams. I'm thinking I might experiment one day and do a series of like 10 or 20 live streams, all 10, 20 minutes on a subject and just see how that goes on the algorithm. Yeah, see, I, have, I, I can get a harness. I have one. I just got the accessories to hold my phone. So I can have it and I can record, but I can't read the screen when I do that. And the harness, then I can set it up to use Streamlabs. And then if I use Streamlabs, then what I can do is I can connect through that. And I think I can broadcast in 1080p, so it's a better quality. And I can have the phone stabilization on. Right now on YouTube, I can't use any of the phone's features. All right, we got an ambulance. That's a normal New York City. Our fire agent keeping the 
keeping the city safe. It's a two alarm fire here. Oh, they're going that way. That's New York City for you. When you have tons and tons of property densely packed, you gotta rush fast to keep a whole block from going down. So fire department's fast. Anytime there's a problem, they'll show up in minutes, which is good. It makes you feel a little bit safer. I used to have, right across the street from my shop, there used to be an active firehouse. It's not there anymore though. Uh, oh, thank you, Eric. No, I, this is enjoyable to me. I would love to do this. It, uh, I think it's making people leave my channel a little bit because I've been doing a lot more live streams and whatnot and whatnot. But honestly, the people that stick around are my favorite people, right? You and everyone else in the room right now, hanging out, having a fun time. Yeah, no, once an hour even, sirens. Sirens are a normal part of living in New York City. Everywhere you go. I kind of want to walk over the Norman right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head that way. I don't know. I got it. I still have. I've been walking for 37 minutes, so I'm probably about a third of the way through my walk. Would you guys want me to walk and talk every night? Because this makes it a little bit more interesting and fun for me. I have to figure out a way to do it so the camera's a little bit less shaky. Because I'm just I'm holding. Camera fits in this hand. This hand feels a little like numb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might just start doing that because every day I've been walking 10,000 uh, steps a day. Just I want to get healthier. I want to have more energy. I want to do more content for you guys. I want to have a lot more fun. I want to be happy. And the walking is just good for all of that. Walking's a cure for a lot of things. Yeah, definitely, definitely be safe. Uh, Williamsburg is right. I really feel uncomfortable. Like there's no, no one that makes me feel or something and there's a lot going on so it's crowded it's hard to be a criminal in this neighborhood because there's always something happening lots of stuff open lots of restaurants and there's a lot of places like that that little shop right there there's one every other block now so you know what people are chill now <laughs> man i hate life you go over there you get a little puff of something and life is good you can just relax we got it. It's, it's so weird to me. They're in every freaking uh, corner now. Every single block has a shop like that, which we can look for more. <laughs> and then, like, it's popping. People are eating. People are, people are in the bars. We got the liquor store. So if you need to, to numb the pain and stimulate it, you can do that. You know, crime only happens when you make it into crime, right? If you deregulate these things to the point where you're not going to go to jail, it's no longer crime. It kind of makes life better and safer for everyone, I think. I don't know. I'm not... I don't take the stuff, but I do use CBD every day for my anxiety. You have a question? Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Um, uh, what you want to call it? Uh, but I do take CBD every day. I think it really helps me with anxiety. It takes away that edge of worrying about every freaking thing. Like, am I, am my socks on wrong? And then, like, you panic that you put your socks on wrong. Right? I don't need that. I need to worry about real problems. Did I? Oh, oh, the music and everything? I have no idea. It's still Dude. Yeah, I mean the government can take a take its chunk, right? As long as things, as long as you're not gonna go to jail for that stuff. Uh, oh, I, uh, whoops. What? Did I turn? Am I back? Oh no, I was always all the way downtown. I for, <laughs> this is usually where I stop my walk. I forgot I was that far down. Okay. I was all the way down by the bridge. Okay, got a restaurant there. So Bedford, this is the main street in my neighborhood. This is where all the restaurants are. This is where all the the nightlife is. Although where my shop is, that street has a bunch of the clubs, which we can walk by and we can dance a little bit if you want. Because there's always a lot of stuff going on. And it's been fun kind of is. Okay, so here's another one of those stores. I told you there's one like every other block. So you can go in there and get, you know, your little joy if you need it. If you're stressed out, you need to mellow out cool with that if that's something that you need 
And then afterwards, conveniently, there's a bakery right next door. So, you know, get some donuts. Let's actually go look at the bakery. I, now, I can't eat this stuff because gluten makes me really sick. But I can drool at it, right? Oh, man. This looks delicious. This delicious. But, yeah, I bet you that business is doing a little bit better since they've legalized uh, the, that magic herb. Uh, okay. This is a Y right here if you want to go swimming. And then... Uh, Oh, and you know what's also cool in this neighborhood? There's so many awesome food trucks. Like, if you want a really delicious taco, there's like eight different places you can buy tacos. You got, and there's like eight different supermarkets. There's so much food in the neighborhood. Definitely not a food uh, island. Yeah, it's decriminalized. You, you are correct. It should be legalized, honestly. And at this point, there's, there's. There's stores on every other block selling it. <laughs> and the problem is some of them look like a, a fun kid's shop with like Rick and Morty stuff in the window. But it's crazy. And here's a little bit of the neighborhood gentrification. We have the Apple store. You need to get your Apple products. You got your city mass transit. It's just good. The bus can get you pretty much anywhere. That, it's crazy to me because in this neighborhood, there's like 10 to 20 of them. Uh, this is the way we eat. I get Funko Pops sometimes. There's my Whole Foods right there. Got a lot of fashion brands too. Lots of fashion brands. But as you can see, this neighborhood, like this street is pretty popping right now. There's a lot going on. So I, like, I feel safe walking late at night down this street. Just because there's not a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of people out. So there's no like hidden alleys. Uh, then if if you've enjoyed your your uh, magic herb a little bit too much, you need a tattoo. There's a couple tattoo joints. Get your tattoos. Uh, It's funny, there's, I found a restaurant the other night that I had not noticed before. It's a uh, bathhouse restaurant. <laughs> and I was I'd like walking by and I had to do a double take because everyone was like half naked in it. Oh, I love this fashion window. It's uh, Amacord, but they have these really cool uh, Queen of Hearts mannequins in the front. Absolutely love that window. I think it's so cool. Uh, postage store. Yeah, no, there's a lot of fun stuff going on in the neighborhood. I just, I, like, I hate how expensive it is and how hard it is to get any kind of space to use, but the amenities are so much to do here. It's, like, hard to be bored. Oh, that sounds nice. New York pizza everywhere is fantastic. We got Joe's Pizza right there, famous for the Spider-Man movie. We have, uh, it's, it's like Best Buy, but different. We have Best Buds, another one, Best Buds right there. And then afterwards you can get some uh, pokey. I think that's uh, Korean, Japanese food if you want. We got Aiko, some delicious sushi. It's really good. And then, uh, Let's see, pizza is around here somewhere. There's so much food. I just, like, it's hard not to find, I mean, everything. And then, you know, convenience spot. We have Kratom, CBD, and other fantastic things going on there. Another location. And then, uh, more fashion. Oh, that's crazy. Very, very crazy. Another tattoo place is right there. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm not sure. What do you guys want to see? Or do you have anything else for me to talk about? I'm just hanging out, relaxing while getting my walk in. I'm at, uh, probably about halfway through my walk, I think. So I'm probably at 5,000 steps-ish, I'm guessing. 
I'm actually, I'm gonna look. Let's see how we're doing. Let's see how we're doing. 100 steps, I'm more than halfway done. That's pretty awesome. Okay, then we have uh, Bedford Exotics. It's just a smoke shop that you could probably get other things to go with your smoke. There's a lot of people smoking here. You would think. Uh, I did one not earlier today, it was dead. Oh look, we have another beautiful shop right here. Like there's four in this block. <laughs> Good for, I guess, the, the rental business. I don't think there's a dead shop on the block. Every dead shop became a, uh, a fun store. Uh, but yeah, no, I, it was very slow and whatnot. So I'm just, I'm walking and talking for the fun of it. Cause I, you know what, this is the part I enjoy. And if you take a little bit too much, we do have a medical center right there. And Dunkin' Donuts if you need a donut. Uh, I love designer toys. I haven't really collected the Gastly's. I would love to do more of my own toy, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, no, I, I, it's awesome. That's what I love about the live stream. I want to do these more often. I, I, I need to um, be able to just walk and talk and hang out and just do something fun. My favorite pizzeria, Anna Maria's, uh, another bakery. Uh, right now, I'm not buying pops. I'm having a hard time selling them, so I can't really buy them if they're not selling. I have at least one person a day asking to buy like 500 pops. Pops right now, the market's very weak. So I, like if I bought anything, it'd be really cheap, maybe like $2 a pop, just because I can't get them to sell. Uh, oh, this is a, another fun little store here. We got stuff going on. There's like four on every block. I just, I can't, like two years ago, you wouldn't see that because it would have been so illegal. Uh, right now, I'm not buying too much. I'm just selling through what I have because I have a lot of inventory. Uh, but I, the shop is dead all winter. That's why I started whatnot. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Really, I'm, I'm kind of at a little bit of a crossroads of what to get for the shop because i just not sure what people want uh, my little comic show i did on one was really good uh yeah no if they're not limited and special they're not fun to collect i got another uh another ambulance fire truck it's something like i said once an hour you're going to hear it that's just new york city for you and uh bedford convenience they might have something convenient there for you <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. Keeping the neighborhood safe, one fire at a time. I uh, have our favorite superhero. Ooh, that's a hard one. Hmm. Wolverine, maybe. I don't. Know, Wolverine was probably my longest favorite superhero. After Wolverine, I mean, I love Spider-Man. Batman, always been a fan of. Like, when that movie came out in 89, I became such a Batman fan. Uh, right now, uh, yeah, life. You got, you got things that you light on fire, and then people protecting you from fires that are caused by other things. <laughs> hey, Mo. It's going good. I've started my 10-step-a-day uh, challenge, I guess, about 10 days ago, and I've been doing it every day. So I thought I would just come and walk and talk and hang out while I'm doing my 10,000 steps. I honestly, it's like when I'm doing the walk, my brain, just like all I think about is all the stuff that's bothering me and it's not fun. Like I don't want to spend time on the negative. Whereas when I'm chatting with you guys, I'm having a fun time and like, this is cool. So I feel like this is bringing me way more joy. So I might walk and talk more often. Maybe this might be my channel for a while until I can figure out what else I want to do that I can afford to do. Uh, a cool kid is good. He's been joining me on a bunch of these walks. So he'll probably join in the future. Uh, he's been having a hard time 
just motivating and getting to school every day, but it is it is what it is. We're trying our best. And I think in general he's happy. He just he's at the age where he's starting to get a lot of anxiety. I think it's just in the family. We all kind of have over anxiety in our family. Uh, the ambient noises of New York City are amazing to me. It feels like home. So I like enjoying it. Like if I hear a fire truck, you know, that's part of the experience. If you hear a guy walking by, I got to talk a little bit loud because the music's loud. I don't want copyright, but uh, yeah, I got to talk a little bit louder right now because I don't want copyright claim, but you got music in the street. Uh, yeah, it happens. I think after the pandemic, it just it heightened all the anxiety of every kid. Like he won't do a single online like exam or whatever or online work. He hates it. He's got PTSD from a year of homeschooling. Oh, and then we got we got our neighborhood motorcycles, which is very common too. It's kind of hard to talk when people are coming by, but this in this neighborhood there's always motorcycles. Yeah. One dude on an ATV. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody, for the ambient noises. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, Josh, that's a great question. I'll, I'll start in one second. Oh, another pizzeria place. Actually, I've never seen this one. I keep finding little places. Oh, it looks like a bar with pizza. That's cool. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's New York City. Just the motorcycles, tr tricks going on. Yeah, video games, the cool thing about collecting video games is they have a utility to them. You can pull them out and you can play them, right? So you can get so much more enjoy out of collecting a video game. Than that. That's why I like collecting comic books because you know, no matter what, I can collect them for the beauty of them, but I can read them and enjoy them. Window glare. I, I can do that. Let's. I gotta find some. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry for the glare. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, if I won the lottery, that's like the hour before going to bed where I'm trying to count sheep, but I'm not counting sheep. I'm counting what I purchased. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's a hard one. I mean, it's, a, it's an easy one. It's gonna take long. Oh, and Man in Black, I appreciate you love the comic videos. I love doing the comic videos. It's one of my favorite things to do. In fact, if I could just do comic videos every day, I would be very happy. I... Yeah, I, I just, you know what I do? I just, I feel it, feel it. I never commit to one thing because I've done that in the past and I completely lost my business many times. Like at one point we sold nothing but DVDs. It was amazing. We sold like half a million dollars once one year of DVDs. But then, you know, Blu-rays came out, then Netflix and all that, and the market died. And it was like a couple years where I really struggled. So now I, I put eggs in every basket I can find. Whether I'm doing YouTube, like I might make five bucks just walking with you guys doing this video, right? And that $5 is just, it makes life easier if you can find all these little avenues of small bits of income here and there. It just it works better for me at least. Oh, yeah. that's probably really noisy, Rambo. Um, right now, I, I did one What Not show last weekend where I sold comic books. I sold about $300 worth in an hour and I had a blast because I love comic books so much. So I feel like if I start focusing on comic books a little bit more, I actually might be a lot happier. I just, I never really focus on the store because they don't sell that well unless you get the, the key issues. I don't like selling those. I like keeping them. Yeah, we have all kinds of ethnicities here. There's a part, big part of the neighborhood that's acidic. We have uh, immigrants. We have all kinds of people. It's, it's a wonderful, I love New York City. It's just a whole mix of beautiful people. Uh, yeah, no, the, the, when they changed the box images to have the 3D image instead of the art on the front. Oh, you know what's funny? All right. So companies pay to plaster these boards, but every time it rains, they just become heaps on the ground. I can't imagine that's really good to promote your business. Um, yeah, no, pops are making too much. They need to cut back. They need to hire someone like me to set them straight. I could make them a lot of money while, while uh, making all the collectors happy. 
Because it, it, you got to find a way that's a happy medium between making the money and keeping your business alive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, it's definitely there's a lot of sacrifices I have to make having my own business, Eric. Definitely. Oh, see, you have a little bit of the New York skyline there. It's beautiful. It's, uh, make sure I'm not going to run over while I walk by. But there's a lot of pluses, too. Uh, my, I love my robot. I've sold a bunch and whatnot, but I still have a bunch. And uh, sales have stopped the last three weeks. I would love to do a lot more than that. It's, just, it's so hard to sell something that people don't know. Right? It has to be... Uh, you have to make a really shitty toy of The Simpsons. People buy it. You make a really amazing toy of a nobody. People won't buy it because they don't know what it is. Oh, we're getting near the club. Are you guys ready to dance? I would love to do a comic book and then a, a television series and then a movie about my robot. That would be a dream come true. <laughs> that, that, that's on the to-do list. But the, I think there's a lot of work between now and then. I always thought with AI, it might make it easier for me to create some things I want to create without a giant major, major investment or budget or whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, no, the clubs. So that's the club that's normally happening on the weekend. It's dead right now. It's the big factory building. Uh, we're at hour. I'm probably at two thirds. Let me see what my step count is. Can you hear me now? No, no sound. All right, I don't know how to fix that. Do you hear, do you hear the sound now? Mic check. Uh, I'm just on my phone. Boom, boom. Oh, you can hear me now. Okay, sweet. Okay. All right, so we're like, this area is not hopping. So I like, this isn't my favorite area to be at night. It's a little bit more to the side, but I, I'm on a mission right now. Oh, if you don't know, my last name is Powers, and they've had these giant Powers whiskey ads up in the neighborhood. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like seeing my name out there. <laughs> That's fun. All right, sweet. I don't know. It must have been either my connection, but I still have five bars, so. Uh, there's still fun stuff going on over here, though. Whew. Man, I like when I started this 10 days ago, that first day it took me seven hours to walk the 10,000 steps. But I also, I motivated myself by going to five different comic shops. I probably was digging through comics a little bit. I actually have to do that, um, the video of that day. I didn't film though. I was just walking, but I did buy a few stacks of stuff. So I got to do one haul video. I have about 30 comic haul videos I have to film. And then I want to sort out duplicates and get some selling. So I can do it all over again because I love buying comic books. Oh, oh, my step count was at 6,600. 66. I know. <laughs> yeah, baby. You know what's funny? My son, like a couple months ago, he's like, 
man, you guys should have named me Austin, not knowing who Austin Powers was. He's like, that's a great name. I was just like, <laughs> that would not work. So I just hope one day I don't have a grandchild, Austin Powers. <laughs> If it happens, it happens. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. All right. Click cross, click cross. That's what you do in your city. When a car stops for you, you have to run across. It's, uh, that's the, I guess the nice thing to do. So now we're moving. So that area we were just in was Williamsburg, Brooklyn. This next neighborhood is Greenpoint, Brooklyn, which I think we just passed into. So there's like a little industrial area that we passed for a couple blocks. Ah, uh, he is, he is. Um, right now he's really into anime, Fortnite, all the stuff kids are into these days. <laughs> Looks like there's a couple little things going on. If I do a walk Friday night, this whole area is lit up with parties and bars and all kinds of music playing because friday night's party night all right uh okay eric you still here because we're on norman ave now it's i forgot i switched over one block ago it just switched over the norman so i'm on norman ave now i don't know if uh eric is still in the chat uh, Randy, I bought four vintage G.I. Joes from 87 to uh, 91 over the, like, two weeks ago. I would love to buy a lot more vintage toys. Those are my favorite. Uh, all right. Wow, this is crazy. I've been talking for this time, too. I'm surprised I'm not out of breath because I have asthma. So sometimes I feel like I'm ready. But that's what's happening. When I'm doing all the, uh, the walking, I feel like I'm just healthier. Sweet. Yeah, this is fun. I'm, I'm happy that I can hang out with some of you guys and just like you can chill and relax and have a little bit of a fun while I walk around. I'm gonna figure out how to do this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I just, we hit Norman two blocks ago. Do you remember between which streets she lived? Cause we're on Norman now. <laughs> I walked over for you. <laughs> See, look, Norman Ave, Norman Ave. It's a walk I take often because of the, the Mo, Moe's bar. Oh, Norm. <laughs> love Cheers. Cheers is one of those shows I loved as a kid. I didn't watch all the time because it was on late. It's at 9 o'clock or whatever, but sometimes I would watch it. Whew. All right, we're at what? Six? We're at uh, 63 minutes. So I'm probably at... 7,000 steps right now. We're good. Two-thirds of the way. This is crazy. Amazing. If I actually just head back, I'd probably hit it. But I don't know. Eric, you got to let me know between which streets I need to walk to. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, New York City is full of a lot of stuff. It's very dense with amenities that's the thing you live in new york cities all right <laughs> let's gotta be over here because normal only goes for like 10 20 bucks i'll have to eventually i'll end up walking that extra ten thousand steps <laughs> uh large okay well there's a laundromat right here i think this this might have closed down though I think this was a laundromat right here at some point. Do you remember this blue laundromat? And then there's the deli on the corner. There might be another laundromat up the block a little bit, but this is the only one I remember on this. Oh yeah, no, if you, you can't hang out if you feel like you're gonna get mugged or worse. No, I didn't see that McFarlane Killback. I'll have to check it out. This is a pretty decent diner right there. Uh, okay. I, uh, I can try to find it. I'm just waiting for the 
It's all right. I'm, I am just walking. And uh, uh, nothing to be sorry about. We're just having fun. Uh, hey, Anthony. How are you? We're just, I'm just doing uh, my 10,000 steps of the day, taking a walk. I might start doing this every night because I, I find myself walking and just, like, thinking of all the problems I have. And it's not fun to do that. Who wants to just worry about your worries? Whereas now I'm being distracted by all you beautiful people asking me beautiful questions and they were having a fun time just walking and checking out the neighborhood. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, right next to the subway. Okay, maybe we're on a different Norman Ave. Maybe she's living on a different Norman Ave. I don't remember. This is just the one I think of. She lived in Greenpoint because that's where we're at right now. Yeah, that's true. If you're in a small town, you'll know, you'll know your neighbors and everyone kind of keeps watches your back a little bit. New York, you don't really get that. There's so many people that uh, I feel like every person is a stranger, even if I've seen them a hundred times, just because there's so many people. Although I do bump into friends occasionally while walking, which is amazing. It's always nice to catch up with someone for five minutes and then get back to your walk. Uh, I do have Captain K-Man, I think. Pretty sure he's in the shop right now. Uh, oh, this is weird. We, we, you know what? We're getting close to uh, James's place. Do you... I don't want to show you exactly where he lives because I don't want stalkers. But do you guys want me to go to James's house? Check out his collection a little bit. I could do that while we're looking for... Uh, We're looking for a laundromat. <laughs> oh, you know what's over here? I wish. So we have Comic Station right there, one of my favorite comic shops. That's an awesome comic shop. We'll go look at it, but they're closed. It's too late right now. So yeah, I like taking this walk. Uh, Captain came in, I think it's 18. I'm not 100% sure. You gotta catch me when I'm on uh, my next whatnot live. Yeah, so we have Comic Station right here. They're all closed up. Amazing comics, just beyond the gate. Uh, not tonight, although I am really hungry. I should head home soon. Gotta take a walk home, get some food. Um, uh, I wanna say hi to James, cause I'm close to his house, but I also hungry. I, I, you know what, I think I have to head back. I'm sorry, Eric, <laughs> I'll walk two more blocks. Two more blocks, and then I, I kind of hit my limit because I still have to get back. And that's probably a, a mile and a half back the other direction. But it was fun <laughs> going down Norman. <laughs> I could do it again. I feel like I need to walk and talk every night as best I can. And I do, like I said, I want to experiment with um, the stream yards thing. See if I can find a way to stream more, a little bit more stable and a little bit more clear. Because I think that would be super fun. Oh, Rambo, I appreciate that. I don't know if I have time. My schedule right now is super duper booked up. But uh, I do really appreciate that. Maybe one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> I love quesadillas. Quesadillas are delicious. Um, it's all right. I wasn't planning for this trip either. I just came over here randomly. So I think we have another like eight to ten blocks that direction. I forget. Uh, do I keep walking? Let me just see my step count. This might be tomorrow's check. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Sorry, I opened up an ad. Please subscribe. I opened them. Oh, no, I'm in New York City. You, you can see people like half naked on a bicycle holding a penguin and it will feel normal. Me holding a phone is like someone coming home from work normal. Like everyone holds a phone having a conversation with someone. What do you want for dinner? Yeah, no, I, I had a shit day at work today. Uh, yeah, no, let's let's go get quesadillas at Rambo's party. I heard he's having a, a barbecue. 
Oh yeah, all right, let's do that. See, that's a normal, that's like what happens. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I need a lot of crew, but I can't afford even myself. YouTube doesn't make very much money at all. I think my best month on YouTube ever is, uh, I made $2,000 one month, what I did every day last year. I also spent $50,000 on pops. I sold probably about 60,000, so I made a profit. Uh, but it was a lot of work and I probably made it like $4 an hour for that time. So it's, uh, but uh, right now I'm making like $200 a month on YouTube. So I just like, I can't really afford, I can barely afford the phone itself costs more than that. So it's, uh, whew, I wish I had a giant budget to do all kinds of amazing things. Cause that's what I would love to do all the time, honestly. I love making videos and content. I love collecting stuff. I love putting collections together. Oh, we had the little library here. A little public library. Uh, I'll have to do this again during the day so you can see things better. Because at night, and it's all, you know, it's kind of jumbly. Jumble, jumbly as I walk. Where are we at? Hour and 10 minutes? New York City, there's so much to do. Like, I just showed you, my neighborhood alone will take you a day to hang out. And there's thousands of neighborhoods like this all over New York City. So, like, New York is a fun place to visit for whether you want art, culture, comics, uh, experiences. Uh, Home Alone Pops, I am out of right now. I'm pretty sure I sold all of them when I pulled out. I pulled them from my collection. I kind of regretted selling them, but uh, at the same time, I just, I'm at the point where I have no room. I need to actually get the be unboxing like i said earlier in the live stream i just bought a five thousand dollar comic book it was my number one want for the last 30 years so i put it on paypal have six months to pay it off knowing so i gotta start selling a bunch of my cheap pops to cover it oh that's crazy Whew. i'm getting hungry i need some food that guy's got pizza. See, this is another main street. This is uh, Manhattan Ave, and there's a lot of stores in Greenpoint. And I always, I like checking these poles because you never know when there's like an amazing garage sale you need to go to. They'll find some cool stuff. Nothing new though. It's all old stuff. It hasn't quite hit garage sale season yet. I think we're about a month away. And then I'm going to start trying to hit them every weekend if I can. I would love to do some more garage sale videos. If you guys watch my garage sale videos I did like seven years ago, those are some of my favorite videos I ever created. You hear the subway? So you got the G train right there. G train. So we, we're on Norman Ave. You got the G train right here. And we have right across the street is that laundromat. I wonder if this is the block because there is a train. There is a laundromat. It just looks different maybe. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this might be the block because you have the train, G train, you have the laundromat. Uh, wind, no, right now it's beautiful weather. There's no wind. It, was, it hits 60 degrees right now. It's probably about like 52, 54. It's actually really comfortable. I'm only out in a thermal shirt. Like this is all I need right now. And I'm very comfortable. So is the laundromat that I said. No, no, I'm, I'm, this is the laundromat I saw before. That I thought might be it. But it, we got the G train right there. So I forgot the train was right there. So that's got to be it. Uh, my shop's located at 123 Waith Avenue in uh, Brooklyn, New York. It's in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It's right across the river from like 13th Street, 14th Street. If you take the L train in, it's the first stop. It's three blocks from that. I have a video on YouTube you can look up. It's, uh, uh, I think it's called uh, Funko Pop Shop in New York or location or something like that. Uh, we, yeah, I mean, I, we had weather on the weekend, I think. There was a, like a storm, but we didn't get the snow. That snow blew up north. All right, whew, I'm getting tired. It's hard to walk and talk for five miles. <laughs> We're at 75 minutes. I'm probably at like 800. David! Hey, David! David's one of my old school followers. He randomly popped in the shop uh, like two months ago, three months ago, and he still had like $400 store credit that from like five years ago. <laughs> it was awesome to see him. Hey, David. 
It's always fun when you see a familiar face pop in. Let's, uh, Hello, my YouTube friend. Gotta say that. I'm just doing a, uh, a walk and talk through the neighborhood. I started my 10,000 step a day challenge 10 days ago, trying to get healthier. And uh, every night I kind of walk for two hours. I'm just like, ah, I hate doing this. Not, not that I hate doing it, just that you get in your mind, you start thinking of all the negative things you got to worry about. And uh, so I was like, you know what? Let me do a walk and talk. I just did whatnot earlier. I figured I'll just do a live stream as I'm walking around. And I thought it would be a... Um, I thought it'd be pretty cool, actually. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've done it for... I'm doing it pretty successfully. I'm trying to find ways to make it more fun. This is definitely fun. I got to find more things to talk about, though. <laughs> People always ask me, what's your favorite Funko Pop? I need to find other conversations. All right, Mo. It was really nice hanging out for an hour. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate everyone that honestly wants to hang out while I'm walking. I'm just showing the neighborhood. Showing you the scenes of... There's all kinds of things to look at. We got charging stations here for your electric cars. There's a lot of these showing up on the different streets, which is cool. Makes it a little bit easier to own a car in the city that's electric. We got a little uh, party going on there. They got food and stuff, so it looks like it's probably like an art gallery thing or something. Oh, I look at that. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and then... Uh, Norman, we passed, went like three blocks past. But on the way back, I'm pretty sure that's the part of Norman, which is close. That's literally... Uh, Eric's girlfriend lived like a mile from my shop. <laughs> that's crazy. Eric, I wonder, I wonder if she ever stopped in the shop. That's what always makes me curious. Because people tell me this and they're like, wait, yeah, I was in your shop like eight years ago. That's always fun. All right, now we're going back through the uh, kind of the industrial area. It's an industrial area for like two or three blocks. So there's not much going on here. On the weekend, it's more hopping because they have little parties and stuff going on over here. Uh, video game soundtrack. Oh. Wow. Ah. Uh, uh, you know, when it comes to the video game soundtracks... I can't think of anyone. I just, but I do get nostalgic. Like if I hear one of the Super Mario World theme songs come up, like I get so much joy. I don't know if I would listen to it all the time, but. Uh, yeah, I have, well, I did the little short with four items. I do have three giant boxes from Japan that I might film very soon. Open them up. I love those Japan boxes. Honestly, I would love a channel where I could just open up a box from Japan daily, like a, like a three to $500 box full of fun stuff. That would be amazing. That would be, it's another dream. I have lots of dreams. I dream and I just try my best every day to work on them a little bit. It's a little bit crazy, but it's fun. Got the cool hotel there. Uh, all right, where, where are we? Let's go to, uh, Oh, where do I want to go? I'm just going back down uh, Weiss again. But let's go to Kent, maybe. Kent, or... I'm just trying to think of what would be interesting this time of night. It's not that late. What time is it? Nine? It's not that late. All right. Now we're going under the construction tunnel. Uh... Uh... Oh, the Castlevania Symphony is a very beautiful song. Uh, Funko Pops. I talked about it earlier in the video, David, but... Uh, first of all, Funko's making too much stuff. So for a collectible reason, it's good that they're getting rid of their overstock. Just because it's too much, right? And it'll make whatever is kept be a little bit more collectible, a little bit more value. No, it's bad for the environment. Honestly, what Funko should have done... Funko, if you're listening, I doubt they're listening. What Funko should have done was offered all that stuff to mom and pop collectible stores. Pay the shipping. Because they would have paid to dispose of it. So if they contacted a shop like mine and like a thousand others, and if they said, you know, give us $2,000 and we'll ship you a truck of shit. Right? Whatever it is. All Funko stuff. Games, dorbs, whatever they couldn't sell. Uh, but you're just paying the shipping so you get a bunch of ch stuff cheap. You can give it away. You can sell it cheap. I think that would have been way better. Help out the little guy help the community, make it a big, awesome event. Be like, dear collector community, we're sorry we overproduced so much stuff as a 
thank you for all you guys. We're going to distribute it all over the country to all the cool little mom and pop shops and so that they can, you know, give you lots of deals and all that stuff. But instead, they throw it away or they try to sell it to, you know, the five and dime stores and they don't really think, they really don't help the little shops anymore. Like my shop, I can't buy from them anymore because I they, they made it. I used to spend about five to 10 grand a year just ordering a few things for the shop I wanted, like some number one pops like Michael Jordan's. But then they made it, you had to spend $25, I mean 25,000 a year or 2,000 a month. Now it's 50,000 if you want to order. So I had to spend $5,000 a month on Funko. Which, and you buy 36 of each, so you have to get like case after case after case of 30, 30 of this, 30 of that, and it's not all sellable. So it's not really good for the little shop. So Funko is no longer about collectors and the little guy. It's all about corporate stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Limited runs would be good. I would love, what I would like them to do, this is my thought. I would like them to do a small shop distribution program where small shops sign up for, let's say they want the $5,000 a month, $5,000 a month for each small shop. And they distribute things that are like the uh, house of fun, fun boxes where you get a whole bunch of, so all these little shops get things of value that they could, if they're on a shop sell for 20 bucks, maybe flip it a little bit, but distribute value all over the collector community of all these limited things, making an event, help out the small business guys and make it about the collectors and not the flippers and, and whoever can like buy stuff with bots as fast as possible. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, no, all, all that stuff in the dump. Now for environmental reasons, it's bad that they get rid of it. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't have any Ram Man's right now. Uh, favorite 80s, 90s, man. I love uh, Yurisai Yatsura. Llama is super cute. I love the goofy sci-fi nature of it. I love the movies like uh, Wing of the Hanames. I love uh, Akira. Akira is like one of my all-time favorite movies. I love uh, all the Studio Ghibli stuff. Nausicaa, amazing. Totoro, probably top five all-time favorite movies. I can watch Totoro over and over again. Uh, everyone I know, I try to get into Totoro. Uh, my son loves Totoro. My sister loves Totoro. My mom loves Totoro. Totoro is amazing. My wife loves Totoro. Um, trying to think. There's not too many series from the 80s and 90s that I watch just because series can be not as good, but the movies I love. I know. Ghibli Pops would be so cool. But I, you know what? I don't want I don't want, I want Ghibli stuff that's amazing. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, now Funko has not been doing a lot of stuff. That's the one reason why I started kind of selling and cutting back too. I didn't like the way Funko was going as a business. Uh, let's see what else. Trying to get all your questions, but I'm just talking and not looking. Uh, all right, I think I got everyone. All right, I think I got all the comments. Uh, uh, Reed Allen, do yourself a favor. Reed, what do you do? You, would you rather see? Epic adventure, heartwarming, cute, or just action? Because they kind of fit a few few genres. But uh, start with Spirited Away. Watch Spirited Away. Spirited Away is one of the greatest movies ever created. Watch Spirited Away. If you love that, then you can watch some of the other ones. Yeah, HBO will give you every single Studio Ghibli movie on it. Uh... No, the, studio, the thing with uh, Studio Ghibli is, first of all, the art style is beautiful. Hayao Miyazaki creates the look of all of them. He's a master artist. And then the storytelling is amazing, hand, right? Uh, storytelling is all just, it's different. It's just interesting. It's fun. It's epic. It's like, you can't believe it. You're going to cry. You're going, like Totoro, there's multiple scenes where I like, I've seen it a hundred times and every time I see the same scenes, I cry. I can't help myself because it's so emotional and it's like, it's amazing. Uh, uh, epic adventure then, you want to watch uh, Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke is super epic. It, just 
watch the opening five minutes. Just watch the first five minutes. And you tell me if you want to watch it or not. Because the first opening scene is this big uh, infected with evil pig. Like giant though. It's like 20 feet high. Comes out of the forest. And it's like the way the animation looks. He's got all these like particles of crap like flying off of him. And like the soundtrack is big and epic. And, and you're just like holy crap what's going on. And it's coming through the city and like. And then the, the main character has to fight him, but he gets a little bit on his hand. So because he has it on his hand, he's, he's, uh, what happens is he's like possessed. So he gets kicked out of his, his clan. Think of it, it's like middle ages feeling or like 1700s. And so he has to go on this big, long, epic adventure. And it just, it's beautiful. It's just a, such an amazing storyline. And then after that, Nausicaa is amazing. Nausicaa is a little bit more dated in the animation, but it's an epic sci-fi nature tale it's way in the future after all of the world has been destroyed and what's left are these little teeny pockets of people but a lot of infested forests full of toxic crap and then you have uh, nausicaa and she's like a little adventurer that she flies this cool flying wing and she goes into the toxic areas to like loot giant bug parts they use for housing and stuff it's just it's such an awesome movie and then you know castle in the sky is also a pretty awesome uh, adventure uh yeah how's moving castle i dream of how's moving castle every day i don't have it. i've been wearing that shirt for two days i don't have it on anymore how's moving castle is amazing i dream of his ability to open up doors to different parts of the world from his castle i like i wish i had that so i could just comic shop all over sean's moving castle I have my castle somewhere safe, but I'd open up doors to like Japan and buy manga and then like go comic shopping all over the world. Uh, no, I'm not really buying pops right now. I don't like the newer releases. I don't like how they're mass producing them uh, and I don't have space. So I'm not really buying new stuff anymore. If I'm going to buy any more pops, it has to be something I really, really want, like an absolute favorite. Um, Ghost in the Shell. Love Ghost in the Shell. Ninja Scroll is good. Monogoki is one of my favorite. Uh, Akira is one of my favorite. Twilight of the Dark Master. I've actually not seen that. Is that old school 80s? Is that old school 80s, 90s? Because I will, I will watch that. I want to watch that. Yeah, Sean's Moving Castle. I, I would love that. I would, be, I would comic shop all over. I would open it up, actually. David, I have Sean's Moving Castle. would have a store in the middle. And people all over the world could come visit it. I'd open up portals. <laughs> hey, guys. This location, this location, this location. I'm opening up a store. Come on in. <laughs> uh, 4K would be awesome. But you know what? Right now, I have all of them on Blu-ray. But also, I just I end up going on HBO. They're just all there. And I think they're in 4K on HBO. But I have them on Blu-ray just in case. You know, you never know. You need to have all your Studio Ghibli's at all time available. Uh... Twilight of the Dark Master. I need to look that up. I've not heard of that one. Uh, I sometimes sell pops on Amazon if the price seems really good. But uh, Amazon also blocks you from listing like 90% of them. Uh, I would love to do more anime. I want to watch more anime in general. I feel like I don't know enough. I love anime movies. I don't watch as much as I would want. But anime is something I do really enjoy. We just, uh, my son and I just watched... Um, cyberpunk it's a little bit on the adult side but absolutely love that cyberpunk was such a great anime it was short and sweet eight episodes they got the story done and it was i like i cried i smiled i laughed it was amazing okay how did i just zoom in some i think i just zoomed in uh, yeah oh i did not know that i gotta test that out i didn't know i could zoom in on Somehow I pinched it and it like zoomed in. I don't know. I don't know how to do this thing. Yeah, I like having physical media just to have it as just in case. It's just, uh, you never know when something's gonna just 